in the Delta, in Walnut Grove. I've lived there for 30 years now. In Walnut Grove, the community is part of this district. The wind turbines on Altamont Pass and over in the Fairfield area are there as a result of legislation that I carried in 1978 with the very first tax credit for solar, wind, and thermal uh, programs in the state of California. And so to watch the evolution of these programs over the years and to know that we are at the beginning of a new industrial revolution and to be able to apply the experiences that I've had to make that a reality for jobs in this area, not 30-year-old wind turbines, but new, the most modern wind turbines ought to be dotting and replacing those that exist in those hills. Those are jobs that are immediately available. And it takes a federal policy and a state policy to make that happen. I, I know the water issues of California. I've lived in the Delta for 30 years. I've represented the Delta all of those years as an assemblyman and as a senator and as a statewide official and also as Deputy Secretary of the Department of Interior during the Clinton-Gore period with Bruce Babbitt, the Secretary said, John, you get Western water. Make sure that it's taken care of. And so I spent those years with some of you here in the press uh, working to try to resolve those issues. Well, they're all back in play again as the drought goes on and to, pre to protect the Delta, to make sure that the communities here in Northern California have adequate water supplies. That is something that is crucial to the communities, to the economic future, to the environment of this region, and to be able to apply those, to be able to apply what I've learned over these many, many years in Congress is something that I find very, very compelling. And to not have to wait, but to be able to do it perhaps this summer or in the fall, depending upon when the elections uh, are completed.